aortic stenosis. In this video, we're going to be talking about aortic stenosis. The most common causes of valvular type of aortic stenosis in the general population is senile calcific aortic stenosis, bicuspid aortic valve, and rheumatic heart disease. Where senile calcific aortic stenosis and bicuspid aortic valve remain the most common causes in the Western world, rheumatic heart disease is still leading cause of aortic stenosis as well as mitral stenosis in the developing nations. Patients present with cardinal symptoms of cardiac disease like dyspnea, like chest pain, syncopan exertion, and there may be a delayed, diminished type of carotid pulse termed as the pulsus parvus etardis. A single S2 due to a delay in the A2 component resulting in an overlap with the P2, and an audible S4 which is an added sound due to stiff ventricles are commonly seen in patients with aortic stenosis. The high resistance generated by the stenose aortic valve causes concentric hypertrophy and stiffening of the left ventricle resulting in the S4. A harsh ejection systolic murmur which is of crescendo decrescendo type is particularly noticeable in the second right intercostal space with radiation to the carotids. Supravalvular aortic stenosis is the second most common type of aortic stenosis, whereas the valvular type of aortic stenosis still remains the most common type of aortic stenosis. It's a congenital left ventricular outflow tract obstruction due to diffuse narrowing of the ascending aorta. A systolic murmur is best heard in the first right intercostal space in contrast to the valvular aortic stenosis murmur which is best heard in the second right intercostal space. Patients with significant supravalvular aortic stenosis develop left ventricular hypertrophy over time. Some of the patients can have an associated carotid artery stenosis and can present with symptoms secondary to subendocardial myocardial ischemia. Patients with aortic stenosis are asymptomatic for a prolonged period of time and the symptoms typically occur only in patients with severe aortic stenosis and severe aortic stenosis is where the aortic valve area has become less than one centimeter square. Pulsus parvus et tardis, which is again delayed and diminished upstroke, a mid to late peaking systolic murmur from the turbulence due to the stenosis. And the presence of a soft and single second heart sound are the classic signs of severe aortic stenosis. Thickening and calcification of the aortic valve leaflets leads to reduced mobility and causes a soft S2. Also, since there is reduced mobility due to thickening, A2 is delayed and occurs simultaneously with the pulmonic valve closure leading to a single S2. Diagnosis is usually confirmed with echo like in the case of any other valvular heart disease and patients with symptomatic severe type of aortic stenosis should be referred for aortic valve replacement.